So, so if I do it this way, it's like TikTok, right? Is this a, is this a TikTok? I, I, don't, I don't know what a TikTok is. Is this a TikTok? I, I kind of want to do a TikTok. I feel like it would be cooler if it was a TikTok. No, so, so I have to kind of go, I have to go, I have to go this way? Okay. That, that, that looks normal now. That looks normal. I can do it like this. Okay, cool. This is where I sit, where I read French poetry, so that people can see me do it, so they know I'm clever. Um, my role is I am the writer and the director of Why Henry is So Weird, uh, so technically I don't have a character. Although I have played all the characters, I did it when I wrote it, so I have played them all, and I did it with a plum. I, I don't know if if you've heard of this, but there is a thing called the coronavirus, which is um, it's doing the rounds of the planet. Uh, so if anyone's ever ill or having to isolate, uh, I will step in and do an impression of the actor who was playing that role, and I will play that role. But mostly my role is just watching the actors do it and telling them that they're wonderful and that I love them. I wrote this uh, a few years ago after spending a year doing two shows. We did Sam and Isla Forever and then we did a smaller uh, horror show. We did a horror show called Hidden in This Room and we were both very emotionally intense affairs that I decided to take 2019 off, which was a great decision. I stand by it um, and at that point uh, was also the time that uh, my husband and I were looking to start the adoption process and I started wondering what kind of parent would I be because my childhood wasn't exactly a cakewalk I don't know what that means um, and I wondered what kind of parent I would be so um, I, as a way to sort of talk through my own anxieties I wrote what is now act two of the show and as the drafting process went on, I thought, well, people are going to want to know how this character ended up here. So we had sort of flashbacks to his childhood, and they became Act One. So this is the first tideline runner show that runs in chronological order. I think ever. So Why Henry is So Weird is ostensibly a comedy. Um, but like all my comedies, it's a comedy about something that is a fairly sad occurrence. Uh, it's about a very, 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 very lonely 12-year-old boy. Uh, he has anxiety, uh, as I have for quite a bit of my life. Um, uh, his parents are getting divorced. Uh, they are separated. He gets nosebleeds through his anxiety. He has an unrequited love. Uh, he's very creative, and to help him deal with all his uh, troubles, he conjures up uh, an imaginary friend, which is a version of himself who is 40 years old. So it's kind of like that adage of, if I knew then what I knew now. And in Act 2, we kind of flip the script on that. The, there is a su almost supernatural conceit to this with the whole imaginary friend that no one can see, and there's a lot of, sort of comedy comes from that. The important... Sort of, message, if it's such a message, is that the sort of true sort of dealing with this doesn't come from the supernatural conceit, it comes from real people in in this character's life that he has to reach out to and to realise that these people are there for him. Yeah, the, there's been quite a few challenges. I mean, there is dance in this, which I am not a choreographer. I don't pretend to be. In fact, I've even palmed it off onto other members of the cast and they choreographed something that looks rather wonderful. And I came in and put lots of silly things into it to make it funny. So I sort of ruined their work. For fun. Yeah, it's fun working with younger cast members. I mean, we've had sort of younger members of a cast before. There's often a, a child presence in 
our shows, but not to the extent that it is told from their point of view, whereas this show very much is. Everyone's craziness is starting to rub off on each other, um, so it's always a lot of fun in rehearsals, and it's a really creative environment. Um, we don't like doing a scene the same way twice. We like to give as many options uh, to where the scene can be played so that anything that happens is right. It's all about listening and not about just, you know, this is my line, this is how I say it, the same way every time. It's all about listening to what the other actor is saying and responding in kind and creating and living in the scene as it happens. It's called the Meisner Technique. We did a workshop on it and it annoyed the pants off everyone. But I'm glad I did it because I love torturing people. It starts at the start of Act 1, Scene 1, and it goes through at the end. This is, I, I genuinely love these characters. I fell in love with them while I was writing them, and uh, I love what these actors are doing. They've become amazing custodians of these characters, and, you know, I love what they're doing. It's the most fun I've had directing a show in a long, 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 long time. I mean, look at this, I'm smiling. This is what a smile looks like on my face. It looks like I'm judging people. So, there's two fish in a tank. And one turns to the other and says, So, how do we start this thing? <laughs>